I've been having a little play around with different ways to display my crochet work and I thought this looked quite nice. I've just put it in a frame, not an expensive one, but I think it sets it off quite nicely. And I shall show you how I did it in case you fancy having a go. They make, might make nice gifts too. Um, you do need to have made your granny squares and joined them together and if you don't know how to do these with the daisy centres or how to join them together with the uh, flat chain stitch then I do have visit, uh, videos showing you both of those techniques and I shall put the link in the description of this video. So I shall show you how I made it. So what you need to begin with is a frame that will take the size of your squares. So you need to make your squares and join them together and then find a frame that will fit. Now I like these frames, um, they're from Ikea, uh, they don't cost too much. This one, um, it's 2016 now and this one was £3.50. And what I like about these frames is um, they're very deep, you've got the glass at the front and you can either have the picture or whatever's inside close up to the glass or you can have it far back so if you're doing like decoupage or like we're doing putting this crochet inside it gives you enough depth so that you're not squashing your work and if I turn it over and just show you inside you get the little um, frame if you want it for your photograph and then this is the part that lifts out and gives you the depth the glass there look at the front and then this goes on the top now you can either put it that way or if you prefer you can take the glass out put this in and then have the glass close to your work so you've got like two choices but this works best because it pops in there and then as I say when you put your work inside it sits on the top of that frame and the back in and seals your work but gives you that depth for looking at it from the other side. So uh, the next thing to do is uh, fix your work to the back end. Now what I want to do with this, just take that back out again, I'm going to use the card that came with it but I don't need that because it didn't, it doesn't fit, it's very hard to get one that fits exact. What I want to do is put a silver back in which is a little bit smaller than that that came with it just to give a little bit of background to make the work stand out so I'm going to fix the uh, crochet onto that silver backing if you can see that there so now it's a matter of just working out how to get your crochet work into the centre of the card I shall turn it to the wrong side so I can mark it and you can either do it by careful measuring or just do it by eye whichever you prefer and just get your corners more or less just ease them into shape where you want them finished you'll be able to do that with the next with the stitching here so I'm just easing those out and I should just join those corner dots with a line as I say, you can, if you wish, do proper measuring. Just want a rough line of where the work will sit. As you can see, that's put the square around there. I think that looks fairly central to the to the square. So now just draw another line about half an inch, just enough. What we're going to do now is just attach the fabric, the squares, to this card. So you don't want it right on the edge, but you just want it near enough to hold it in position and not show the stitches. Now on that inner line I'm just going to pierce a few holes and I should pop a towel, just a thin towel underneath it and see that. And using, I've got a pointed uh, gimlet thing here, you could use a needle or the sharp end of the scissors. 
and I'm just going to pierce through just two holes close together about an inch apart again there's no there's enough to be exact because this is just going to hold your work in place and just go all the way around the edge like that you can see that there I've just got two holes and then about an inch or so separating them and I shall do that all the way around that inner edge I've done all those and I've also done one in each corner so that'll hold your corner nice and tight if you can see those there as I say they don't have to be exact just two every so often and next I'm going to use some of this invisible thread uh, you could use fishing line that always works well just something that you can't see through your work is ideal but if you haven't got anything like that you could use your normal crochet thread and try to hide it um, use the same colour and just try and hide it but they, they might well show on there that's why I like to use the um, invisible thread so if we pop to turn it over and pop our work on there and starting in one of the corners I've just put a loop on the back if you can see this as I say it's invisible so you probably can't I've just put a little loop there on the thread and I shall bring that through the corner from front to back and through the very corner of the work about half an inch in, like I say, whatever you did from measuring it you'd use that same width there, whatever you did on your original line to that, do that, about that same amount and just pull it through don't pull it all, sorry, don't pull it all the way yet and just go back in again um, and back through the same hole and on the other side just go through that loop that you made just to secure it and then pull it nice and tight so that just holds it on that corner and now we're going to go along and up through the next holes that you made and through the front it's a little bit fiddly but it's worth it because it'll get you crochet work nice and uh, even on the card so pull it through and then going back down if you just look for the hole you made there you can see that go back down so you're coming through to the other side and we're just working along going up down up and down so we're going to have a long stitch here and go through there through the other side can see that and then back down into the hole there you can see that hopefully and again out the other side and all you're doing is sewing that through those holes see that there on the other side so I shall do that and then we'll come back and finish it off and when you come back round to where you started you can just fasten that off on the back into one of the uh, previous threads just tie it with a knot and on the front if it's still a little bit out of shape you've got some leeway because it's only sh uh, sewn every couple of inches you can just ease it back into shape if necessary and then it's ready to put this onto the backing card of the frame so I shall just add a little bit of glue just around the edge and then get it in position before it dries whichever way up you want it just make sure your edges are 
They're nice and even and again you can use a, a ruler if you prefer. Press it into shape and then leave that to dry until it's stuck nice and fast. You could even put a bit of a weight on the top and then we'll put it into the frame. So that's dried now and it's held nice and firmly so I shall just pop it into the back of the frame and then the backing board on the top with the hook on the outside. Hold in the tabs to hold the back on. And there we go, there's the finished wall art for your crochet work. I hope you have a go, I hope you enjoy doing it. You can do lots of different things, you could do any crochet whatsoever and use the same technique. So whatever you get up to, have fun. Bye for now.